Now, the list of the most viewed local ads on YouTube in 2012 is finally out. Nando's is the top performer, no less than three viral ads in South Africa's top 15. Another big performer in the YouTube list was OLX. Well, why? What's the strategy and how does the brand take the success forward? Head of marketing at OLX is uh, Bronwyn Johnson. Welcome. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Jamie. Let's get it underway. First of all, OLX, what is it? OLX mm. stands for Online Exchange. Uh, we're a free online classified site where you can buy and sell almost anything. Also a family friendly brand, so we moderate all our ads before mm. they go live. We try to protect consumers from spam and scams mm. and fraud. Um, and we've done very well. We launched in January and so far we're the second largest in South Africa and we have more than a million ads at the moment and so um, the advert that we're speaking mm. about was our launch campaign that we did in Jan. So a lot of commercial success but why have you succeeded do you think in this viral space? I think um, we had a really winning recipe when we look at this particular ad. Um, we used a story that had done well in other countries for us. So it's the same story we did in Pakistan, India and Portugal. Um, but we put a South African twist on it. So we put a bit of humor. We had the most tremendous characters. Um, all three of them very lovable. In fact, the two brothers that we used in the ad were so likable that we've used them in subsequent ads. Um, really, really great. Mm. And um, our payoff line sell it ended up being something that people are saying all the time now. So even on our Facebook wall, they just write, sell it. Eta? Hola. Dude, that bike of yours, don't you think we should get rid of it? Uh, are you mad? I used to take Pindi out on that bike, the long rides, the way she used to hold me tight. <laughs> Pindi's gone now, but the memories linger on. But I had an offer for it for 10,000 bucks on OLX. Sell it! Turn your pre-loved goods into cash at olx.c. Bronman, a viral success, I think, is, yes. is, is the holy grail That's in right. terms of any, any in terms of any marketing yes. campaign. Do you have a deliberate strategy to say we want this to succeed in the viral space, or is it potluck? Oh, <laughs> I would say it's a mixture of both. Yeah. So for us, we set out to make a great ad. We just wanted something that would resonate with South Africans. Um, we wanted people to see the brand for the first time and to look at these characters and say, oh, that could be me. Mm. Um, South Africans love humor. I really think that's something that you need to consider when you, you're looking at viral. Um, we did a longer version of the ad for YouTube only, mm. which we kind of thought would be the viral one. It turned out that the TV one was the one people loved the most and shared the most. Um, because the TV ad was only um, on satellite channels, mm. we had to be quite tactical with what else we, we did to support it. So we did a lot of advertising on YouTube, uh, on social media like Facebook and Twitter, and then we did a lot of digital, so homepage takeovers with News24 and other Media24 sites. Kulu, we really need to sell this old car. Oh, never! It's part of the family. <laughs> Maybe you should check out OLX. Well, I can get 6,000 bucks for it. Sell it! Post your ad for free and get some cash with OLX. Where's the balance there in terms of what you do in the traditional television space and in the online space? Oh, it's, TV will always be probably mm. the biggest uh, spend-wise. And for us, it, it for really works. For the moment. Yeah. Yes. When, you, when you're launching a yeah. new brand and people don't know mm. you yet, that's what we do. Um, but because we are an internet business, we, we find that the results are really quick. It's almost real time. People see you and you're getting traffic. And so we can be quite agile and we can move around our marketing mix accordingly. Uh, with YouTube just doing so well, we, we ended up putting more resources there, uh, focusing more attention there. Um, and, and so the balance is something mm. we, we're constantly playing with. For other brands, maybe the lesson out of this, in time, can you adopt a YouTube-only strategy to the exclusion of more traditional media? Has, oh, has that time come yet? I don't know if it's come yet. I think it's something mm. that will come, especially with the, with the new stuff YouTube is doing, and I'm sure that um, Luke will tell you more about mm. that. But you can get interactive video, and you can get things that you can't do with television. Um, so there's more creative freedom. It's more perhaps. creative freedom, but also it's more engaging from an audience perspective. They can comment, they can share, they can like things, they can dislike things. You can get um, immediate feedback. 
And, and for me, that is something that is completely different to mm. traditional media. Just a final question. I'm looking at some of the other ads that made this uh, YouTube top 12. We've got Nando's, we've got brands like Ata, Mentos, Gumtree. Are, are there some brands perhaps that lend themselves more to viral video success than others? Or again, can I use that, uh, that phrase, pot luck? You just never know what's going to happen. Some people try to go out and make a viral video mm. and they would uh, maybe pitch their agency and say this is what we want. Which is the biggest mistake. It's the make. biggest yeah. mistake. It comes across contrived yeah. and, and manipulative and the public is not stupid. They take one look at that mm. and say, oh, you know what you're trying to accomplish. Mm. Um, but there are brands that just have a bit of a tongue-in-cheek approach, mm. Nando's in particular. Um, I think if you look at ourselves, you look at ATA, we're challenger brands. We've got competitors out there that have been around a bit mm. longer than what we have. And I think when you take a bit of a, a fun approach and, and you you're not mm. so serious about yourself or about your brand, but, you, but you're really mm. wanting to make a difference and you're wanting to build something and for South Africa. Let's not forget a challenger it brand can always take a little bit more risk. Uh, Bronwyn Johnson, thank yes. you very much for the insight. Pleasure. Appreciate it. Head of Marketing at uh, OLX. Coming up on Mags on Media, where Twitter meets Burevos, would you believe? We'll also go behind the scenes of an astonishing new car commercial for Mercedes-Benz. Mags on Media, also on Facebook and on Twitter, 24-7.